But you got something where you at? Your motivation guy is back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm here to make you guys the best Fortnite player you could possibly be. You know, becoming an adaptable player is crucial if you guys want to make it far in Fortnite. You know, battle royale can lead to many unexpected twists and turns, so you gotta be ready to change in the game and out of it. You know, becoming more adaptable is going to help you guys become a just much better solo player, but also allow you to transition your skills from situation to situation, whether you're playing alone or with others. So, without further ado, it's time to get my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? Help me out. It's that bunch of crunch. Woo! And let's get this going. Playing solos and even gaining some more advanced skills is always the goal when going pro. However, it also has a few downsides if you're not careful. It can often make you very stubborn towards criticism and sometimes you even develop an ego that can really stunt your growth as a player. You know, it's something that happens to everybody at some point or another, so don't feel too bad if you find yourself slipping. You know, the important thing, guys, is that you keep working towards self-improvement. I mean, after all, being told you're doing something wrong isn't the most pleasant feeling in the world. I get it. But, you know, being able to listen to feedback and acknowledge your mistakes. It's not only gonna help you guys develop good synergy with teammates, but also make, you know, just much easier for you guys to develop your own Fortnite skills. You know, one strategy that might help you guys develop stronger skills is by creating content and uploading it to the internet. You know, viewers can be harsh critics, I get it. And you might not always like the feedback that you get from people watching you play. In fact, it might even make you a bit nervous. However, if you can withstand other players, you know, talking about your play style, then you can work on fixing the key aspects that you need to really get straightened out. What's up guys, this is Clicks. I'm super excited to announce the launch of my exclusive two week bootcamp teaching you guys how to master fighting in Fortnite. During the class, we're gonna practice, train, and learn together so that you'll be able to think about and play the game the way I do. I'm gonna help you completely transform the way you approach fighting and constantly outplay your opponents. If you've been wanting to take Fortnite more seriously, this is your once in a lifetime opportunity for you to connect with me and make it happen. So if you're serious about becoming a better Fortnite player, join me for the next 14 days and commit to improving. You know, there's nothing like planning out a match beforehand. You know where you want to drop, you know, you have an idea of where to rotate next, and you know where each chest is. However, once you get on the bus, you realize something. The bus driver is headed in a different direction. You land, and some of the chests you didn't spawn, or all, gave you bad loot. Now the storm has you running across the map because your rotation is just out of the way. All these things and more can really happen at any moment. Because of this, you guys gotta be willing to adapt your strategy even if it's not something that you initially wanted. The best way to keep up would be to really understand the benefits of other POIs rather than just only focusing on one. Constantly keep an eye out for new updates and how the loot pool changes during the season. Players are always finding new drop spots as, you know, older drop spots become more and more popular and the odds of just gaining certain items in certain locations increase or decrease. And so when the Spider-Man Mythics leave Fortnite, it's gonna have an impact on drop spots. So definitely keep an eye out for that. It's also important than ever that, you know, if you don't see yourself using a certain weapon during a match, you try your best to master it as well. You might think the 80 rifle will carry you through the match but if you land and you know all you find is the auto shotgun then you need to be able to use that to really fight out spawn until you can really get the loadout that you need and so this can mean man getting accustomed to close range combat and making yourself harder to hit by applying more movement into your style such as jumps or slides and so if you ever end up playing with the team, having a plan can be a great way to present new ideas. However, the more people in your group, the more likely you're gonna have some contrasting ideas. Not everyone's gonna agree with you. So if you've been doing well adapting to different weapons and POIs, then it should also help you guys see the benefits of following someone else's lead. And it's also gonna help you guys slip into the role of fragger or support much easier. All right, so adaptability does not stop with mental and psychological improvement. It also extends to being a better player in the game as well. Every decision you guys make, every elimination you go for, and your choice of weaponry is going to affect how you play the game. So for this next tip, we plan to make you more flexible so your skills can cover a wide variety of play styles. Okay, so there are many different types of Fortnite players. You have, you know, your fast players, your slow and precise players, aggressive sweaty players and passive players. These play styles have movements where they will come in most useful and really can benefit you or a team whether you want to be a crazy fast box fighter or you're just trying to keep up with your hardware situation. You know, you should just do your best to just master many play styles as you can so you can adapt to anything. All right, let's take a look. So while it may be tempting to always go for speed, being able to slow down can help you guys save mats in the long run. It could also be beneficial if you're dealing with an opponent who is all show and no substance. Sometimes play will start just creating fast builds without actually thinking that you're able to determine your opponent's skill level by watching them. Then you can just play it methodically rather than just following their lead. This can help you guys 
you know, wear them down while also not wasting any more resources than you need to on a player that can probably be eliminated very quick. Sometimes the opposite is true and you need to do some rapid plays to catch a smart player off guard. You know, play styles also include aggressive and passive styles. Aggressive players will always try to go for kills while more passive players might be playing for in-game and focus more on building up their inventory. Depending on the time of day that you log in, you might be dealing with sweaty players or more average players. So, in some cases, you might want to avoid fights so you can just get the placement points, while other times being aggressive is going to pay off. Alright, so speaking of playstyles, let's go into a certain skill methodical players use to carry themselves to victory. I'm talking about building smarter. This is all about knowing the most optimal times for making certain builds or edits. It's also about being able to save your own skin with a quick maneuver that can prevent you from taking damage. The real purpose in building smarter guys is all about mat conservation. In a team mode, your squad has the combined mats of your team. Even if you can't use them yourself, you have someone else watching your back. In solos, whew, it's completely different. You have a limited number mats to work with and if you build wildly you're just going to run out of the most critical moment so you should always take this time to stop using you know wood all the time and start using different mats such as stone or metal what is like the most common mat to use for building due to you know how fast you can place builds and how common it is to find instead just analyze how much time that you have in position of your enemy if your enemy is far enough away from you consider using stone stones takes longer than wood to set up but it's gonna be much stronger and provide more cover all right guys so going even further still is a great building material for when you want a strong defense, but also want the best possible cover. You know, it takes the longest to set up, but once placed, it isn't long before the health of the build surpasses that of wood. So eventually you can create a fortress that's gonna not only shield you from damage, but also make it almost impossible for players to see your movements within. This is great for confusing your enemies and forming a counter attack. And so once you're using the right mats for the right occasion, it's gonna help you guys build smarter and you can use your builds way more effectively than you could before. All right, guys, VOD reviewing yourself and others is a great way of becoming a more adaptable player. All right, so like we mentioned earlier, it can sometimes be tough to acknowledge your own mistakes, right? Our VOD reviewing other players can be easier because we tend to be critical of others way more easily. So while VOD reviewing others, you know, you can just spot all sorts of errors such as building mistakes or timing flukes and moments where the player does not react properly to enemies. So make sure you do this often and soon you're going to be able to more accurately identify these things. And so replays offer you guys a variety of tools so you can see gameplay from different angles. You can also check out videos from the pros themselves since they are going to sometimes perform their own vibe reviews for you to see. This can be an excellent way of just learning through example. This also has another effect that you may not notice right away. You want to know the secret? Huh, here it goes. When you criticize others for the mistakes they make, it makes it harder for you to excuse or just overlook your own. So whenever you see a flaw just staring right at you in your face, it's just really hard to say, nah, that wasn't for me. For more help with your vibe reviews, don't forget to check out ProGuys.com after the video. The coaches here, and I mean like right here, are gonna be able to guide you so that you can get the most out of it. But you got something that's gonna be it for today's video. It's your friend, the one and only, Keith Allen, the one who believes in you, the one who is rooting for you, the one who is cheering you on, man. So no matter what you're going through, whether you're fighting depression or just battling with your mental health, just stay positive. Just know that, you know, the future is bright, but you gotta get through this time. You gotta get through this journey. I know I've been there and I've been through it, but I've come out the other side and I haven't arrived yet. You know, I'm still trying to get better myself each and every day um, as a person. So I'm here with you guys, man. Let's let's do this together. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.